In this video, I'm going to show you the most popular Swift message types MT103, MT760, and MT799. And I'm going to show you, create a context for you, for you to understand how to leverage them to give speed accuracy to your business objectives. Hi, my name is Tamar Zaman. I run a company called Life Credit.ai. Uh, I'm a real estate investor, international real estate investor. Uh, my organization, um, company called Arcadia Group, started in investing in real estate, loss of real estate. I then started another company called APS of Innovation, where we started to become a venture capital uh, firm. Uh, from there, I started another company called LifeCrowd.ai, where I started to leverage funds uh, from different banks and started to become a private lender. Uh, more more not not necessarily a VC type but a lender against assets uh, through that I started to discover standards of credit MTNs and so on just various different kind of bank notes learn how to leverage it to get a line of credit I learned how to issue standards of credit from some top banks either purchase it outright or lease it how to put into private placement programs or how to leverage it to get a bank note or get a line of credit like that. I like to think uh, in the financial consulting lines of credit companies, we are one of the premium ones out there. We're, we've got lots of experience. And if you Google line of credit AI, I think you're gonna be able to see a lot of press releases and, and some awesome creative, creative things that we've done accomplished in the industry. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about different messaging types, uh, primarily all on the Swift system, why they're important and how they could relate to what, what you're looking to do. So a little bit about MT103. So MT103 is a standard Swift system. A lot of people love it. A lot of corporations love it. If you're looking for a bank trail, something to show the government or tax authorities, MT103 is the way to go. It's a model that works on a Swift system. Uh, if you want to do a money transfer, uh, international transfer, or within a country, it's MT103 allows you to show how much money you send when you send it, date you send it, and it gives you a paper trail of it. The value in this is the paper trail. Now, uh, there are institutions, uh, like if you're doing mirroring of funds. Mirroring of funds is sometimes be for war or geolocations or coronavirus or things like that. A certain number of people in a certain geography have to leave that geography or there's a trade embargo or something going on within a specific geography and then money or capital gets stuck in that geography. If that geography is a third world country, most often, not always, SWIFT systems don't work. You need other transfer types like a IP to IP bank transfer where you need two bankers at the same time, two laptops or two computers, one's doing an upload, the other one's doing a download. This is not that. MT103 works on a SWIFT system. Primarily, I like to say developed countries. <laughs> and you wanna show a paper trail for money transfer, you wanna tell your banker you're doing an MT103. But the context you wanna have it on why you're asking for MT103. Next thing I wanna introduce you to is fascinating. Really, it's not that much of a fascinating tool. But it's called MT760. So MT760 is a vehicle that's used for uh, requesting a letter of credit. So I want to give you a story around it. Chinese banks, central banks, from time to time, want to you know increase cash flow or have more cash in the economy for whatever reason. They want to buy machinery. They want to build the army. And so the central bank requires a letter of credit. And so a central bank could go to, in China, as an example only, this only for example purposes, will go to a tier two bank in the UK. And will tell the tier two bank, hey, I wanna give you a billion dollars of assets. I'm gonna give it to you. And you're gonna be, you're gonna look really nice for your board of directors, to your shareholders, because now all of a sudden you've got a billion dollars worth of assets. But when I give you that, that asset as a lease or loan or what, however, I, whatever the deal is, the minute I give you that asset, what I want you to do is give me a lot of credit because I need cash to build an army. 
probably my analogies are not the world's best analogies. But 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 I think you get the story on that. So MT760 is used for issuing or requesting a uh, line of credit or a documentary credit. So think about it when you want to get a line of credit or, or a loan. Uh, you want to make sure that your banker has an MT. When you see the word MT760, you now have context on why that is used. So next one and last one, these are uh, is the third, I should say third, but top three most popular uh, messaging systems uh, is SMT79. It's a swift message system that banks use to communicate with each other. Primarily the purpose of it is to show that there's proof of funds. Uh, MT799 is not a vehicle that shows, hey, I'm sending the money or I received the money. All it is is that shows I have the proof of funds is what I'm going to show you as a bank to bank communication. Um, if I want to withdraw $10 billion from your bank into my bank, I want to know that before I go to take the effort, I want to make sure there's proof of funds. So my bank will, or your bank will send me an MT79 to show, hey, I have proof of funds. Like that. So a little bit about LineCred.ai, which is an organization I run. Uh, we love helping entrepreneurs, investors with some of their uh, some of their needs, specifically in standby letters of credit. If you're looking to uh, issue a standby letter of credit, uh, we can help you get a standby letter of credit. To, we can issue you that standby letter of credit. If you want to buy a standby letter of credit, lease a standby letter of credit, we can help do that too. But specifically where people ask us for help is monetizing that standby letter of credit. Uh, they're looking to get a loan against the SPLC. Uh, like cash loan or they're looking to take their SPLC and put it into a private placement. A little bit about why both either one of them are important. If you are a trader, uh, you're buying, you know, you're selling copper to, I'll, I'll use China as an example, you're selling copper to China, you got a 15 million dollar uh, stamp out of credit, but you still need to build a, you know, take the copper, put a ship and send it to somebody. So you actually need cash. So what we do in monetizing a standby of credit is that we can take your standby of credit and go to a financial institution, a bunch of financial institutions that will take that standby of credit and will turn it into cash for you. So that's one of the things that uh, we do for corporations. Another one that's a very popular one is you may be a high net worth individual or investor. You may have heard about these private placement programs. If you have, I pray to God that you've also done your research to know that 99.9999% of them are professional fraudulent trade or fraud artists. And so if you're driven to, you still want to participate, a lot of investors with the amount of capital they're putting up want some kind of security. So instead of putting up capital, they will put up a standby of credit because the SBLC gets canceled within one year and one day. So, so it provides a blanket of security that cash may not. There's a bunch of private placement uh, platforms out there that will take a MTNs or SPLCs as in lieu of cash, uh, like that. And so if you want to take a standby letter, of, standby letter of credit into trade, we can help assist that. We're not brokers to tr try to take you into your trading platform. That's not our objectives. I, I think there's 10 million brokers who do that. Uh, but if you need support in mounting the trading platform to make sure they're authentic and they're real, and then getting SPLC issued, monetizing SPLC, uh, I like to think we're one of the main premium organizations that know how to do that really well. My name is Tamar Zamin. If you like this video, please like it, share it, and if there's an opportunity for, me, for us to help you out, we would love to schedule a meeting with you to help you out. Thank you.